of the challenges, but you know, I still kind of want to try and do them the day of the challenges, but anyway. So, I got another story, Summer Days and Summer Nights done yesterday, I got the third one done, about the one by Lover Bray called Last Stand at the Cinnabore, and it was really, that one was cute, it kind of took a turn, that one just kind of threw me off, and it was fine, like it made sense, it was good, but just like for some reason, I was just like, whoa, whoa, what's happening? And so it kind of threw me off and took me out of the story a little bit because I was just trying to like adjust to what had happened. Um, but it was still it was still really cute. And so now I'm on page 95 of Summer Days and Summer Nights. And I started Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. I started it at work yesterday. But unfortunately I'm only on page 29. I was hoping to get more done, but I didn't get a chance to. But it's really good so far. I have a feeling this is going to get really intense. And I had a friend on Twitter who was like, 
my gosh, I'm so jealous you get to read the book for the first time because he's like, I want to like read the book for the first time again. And so, you know, I'm guessing it's an okay book. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited to read it, but it should be a fast read. So, so far, I have read, let's, let's do some math. 19. <laughs> Why am I doing math? First thing in the morning. I haven't even had coffee yet. Uh, 419, 29, 39, 49. So, around 450-ish pages thus far for the book to on. I know, I could totally do better than that, so. I don't know what I'm going to do for the challenge yet today. I don't know if I'm going to have time. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. Maybe just all my challenges are going to be like the day after now. Who knows? So I now read Second Pleasure and then 90 Minutes to Ignore. There it is. And I was going to say, I'm really glad. Stephanie Perkins, the story of 90 Minutes to Ignore was after Second Pleasure because, I don't know, so pleasure wasn't my thing. Like it was, it was a good story, I guess. I just, I don't know. It was just, it wasn't me. And so I'm really glad that they focuses after that because her stories just always make me really happy. listening to this today and I'm even going to like make the listening speed faster so that hopefully I can get it done in time for the book to be done to be done. But that would complete my yellow cover as well as this book yellow covers. So that's exciting. And then also I'm going to let you know that uh, Ender's Game is replacing my oldest book challenge and the book to movie adaptation because this book was written in the 70s and I was born in the 80s. And Netflix has already notified me that they're sending me the DVD for Ender's Game. Yes, I still get DVDs from Netflix because not everything is available on streaming, guys. So, we'll see how I do. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm slightly getting worried. But, I think you might be able to get this. I've gotten so much of Ender's Game done today. And this is a really fascinating book. Just like... I'll explain more when I'm done with the whole thing and have all my thoughts, but yeah, it's fascinating. I read so much. I only have like less than 100 pages left, so I should finish it today, hopefully. How's you ever finish Ender's Game before I went to work? Oh my gosh, like I just, I just have so many thoughts and none of them are coherent. And there's so much to think about with this book and the story and I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I think I'm going to give it five stars. Maybe 4.5? I can't decide yet. But oh my gosh, this was really intense. Uh, I need to pick books for book read that are oh, not so intense because holy cow. Because like it talks so much about like human nature and violence and war, although my mind kind of goes fuzzy whenever there was like the battle scenes, which I've always had an issue with that whenever I've read. So it's not a problem with the book, it's a problem with me. Like I can never focus when there's like battle scenes and fight scenes. Like I guess I can't focus on it. Um, 
I, I love posts that focus on his siblings. It was really cool. Um, women could be way better represented in this book. Like, like the one girl in it was awesome, but could have been way better. Um, and it's like, and they're all children. It makes me think, like, I really wish it was more of an explanation of why these kids could think the way that they did, because they seem more like adults than kids, which is part of the point, and part of what makes the story so disturbing, because they're these children, like, he's six years old when he, the story first starts, and the story ends when he's like 11, or 12 or something, and so it's really disturbing to see these children in this battle school behaving like adults and having to be put in adult situations and all this stuff, and that's part of the point, and I appreciate that. At the same time, it was kind of a little unrealistic because I'm like, if you ever talk to a six-year-old ever, and so that was like, once you kind of was like went with it, it was really, really good, but it was really hard for me to get over. So I wish the story had a little bit more of an explanation as to why these kids could think this way, because I just think psychologically and biologically, they can't. And so I just wonder if there was a reason for that. Did I just like not pay attention when they explain that or what? Uh, but yeah, it was super fascinating. And so if you if you don't mind a little bit more of an intense read, that's like dystopian future society. And also, how did he predict the internet in the 70s? I really want to know that because it was published in 1977. I want to know how he predicted the internet because that whole thing blew my mind. Yeah. Also, because of the ending, which I hope is the spoilers, I now have Who Lives, Who Dies, Who Tells Your Story in my head. So, there we go. of the book to the thon. And I'm doing okay. I'm kind of like looking out, thinking that I'm behind. I don't think I'm really behind because, you know, I finished season 40 way. I finished Ender's Game yesterday and the DVD for Ender's Game came in yesterday. So hopefully I will be watching this today or tomorrow. And then I read a couple more stories on summer days and summer nights as I read over 200 pages in this book. And so I, not including the audiobooks, I did math. Actually, I went to my calculator on my phone. And I've now read 928 pages so far. So that's not bad. And there you go. I started The New Hunger by Isaac Marion yesterday. This is the novella that goes before um, The Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. And it's really good so far. I'm like halfway through. It's going to be super short. The rest of my books or only audiobooks are going to be really, really short. So I'm hoping that means I'm going to breeze through them the next few days really fast. And I should complete the challenge. And this could also be considered for my read a book by a favorite author challenge. So yay! Finished The New Hunger today. So I'm now three books down. It's not as far as I'd like to be. But I'm going to start another book or two today. And I think I'm going to make more progress in summer days and summer nights. I'm going to get out of my belt. This was so good. It follows R and Julie and Nora, but like their story separately before they all knew each other. So it's like right when R became a zombie and they all are kind of like what leads them up to the novel. Um, but it's like several years before the novel Warm Body starts. But what's super awesome about it is I feel like a lot of the focus was on Nora, or at least my focus was on Nora, and she's supposed to be like Julie's best friend and her story was so great, and it just made me remember how awesome Nora is. Then it also reminded me of how the movie whitewashed Nora, because Nora is supposed to be mixed, and she's definitely not mixed in the movie, and that kind of makes me mad. But that's not the book's fault. The book is awesome, and so I gave this four stars. I pretty much only gave it four stars because it's just a novella that's like a prequel to the original, but this was really good, so yay! Okay, so today's challenge is... One I can actually do because I had no creativity for the other challenges. This one is to do book stacks of rainbows in a minute. See how many you can do. And I can totally do that. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Ready? Set? Go. Okay. Red. 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 Orange. 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 That's kind of orange. Orange. Yellow. Ah! Green, green, that's greenish, green, blue, and purple, 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 purple. Okay, one. Another red, 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 orange, yellow, 
green, blue, and purple. Why can't I find more purple? two stacks here and some of them are kind of stretching a little bit man I suck at these challenges on day six at night. <laughs> I did not have a chance to vlog because I've been working and I went to a friend's party because uh, she turned 30. And, but I did get some reading progress done last night. I started Ocean at the End of the Lane. There we go, and I'm about halfway through. Hopefully I'll get a little bit more reading in tonight before I go to bed. And then I got a lot of progress in Forever and Blue the for some of the sisterhood done because I decided to alternate between the audiobook and the book book so I, I made a lot of progress I don't think I've got like a half hour left of the audiobook so I'll definitely finish that on my way to work tomorrow I have to be up to be at work at 7 a.m. so I'm gonna wake up at like 5 or 5 30 blah but yep hope we got this night is going well Okay, so I lied, and I decided to go back and finish Forever in Blue and just go back to reading the regular book because I was going to read it so much faster than I was going to listen to it. So, that happened, and it was good. I might read Sisterhood Everlasting eventually because it's just nice to keep everything fresh in my memory about what happens. And, oh no, I feel like the third book was a little bit of a better conclusion than the fourth book. Um, I still give it four stars, mainly for nostalgia's sake, but, um, yeah, I got really frustrated with B. Like, I get her story, but I got frustrated with it. More, mainly the author, I felt like it was just kind of like a repeat of what B's already been through. Um, I was frustrated with Tibby and Brian. I was frustrated with Lena. I liked Lena's story, but the whole Costas thing, I'm just so over it. I'm so over Costas. And Carmen. Carmen's story was really good. I really liked Carmen's story. I could really connect with her in this one. Like, I feel like Carmen going into college is a lot like me going into adulthood after college. And so uh, that was that was kind of cool to finally really connect with her. So yeah, I gave it four stars. of the book tubeathon and I still have a book and I have to finish so we'll see how that goes I'm going to watch Ender's Game oh the DVD starting <laughs> kind of hear the music in the background but um I'm going to watch Ender's Game so I can complete the book to movie adaptation challenge because of time constraints I'm going to read a time machine as I go because if I can get time machine and Osha at the end of the lane done I will have completed all seven books and all seven challenges so we'll see how it goes so the movie it was pretty good it wasn't great um like if you hadn't read the book I'm sure the movie would be fine but not nearly as good which is you know usually the case it was just like they did a lot of sh telling not showing which is usually like a book problem but it was kind of like just like telling you things were hard and like all this intense stuff but you wouldn't really see it and so I just felt like it wasn't quite as impactful the ending was pretty good they did a good job at the ending but everything leading up to it was like a little bit a little bit of a letdown and a lot of stuff they, they left out with other characters um but it was a pretty decent adaptation. Not great, not bad, just decent. Um, but hopefully, people who, excuse me, 
but hopefully people who haven't read the book and they see the movie first, hopefully they'll go right in the book next because it's awesome. The book is really better. Yeah. I did it! I finished the Booktubeathon. I completed the Time Machine and the Ocean at the End of the Lane tonight. And I watched the Ender's Game movie, and so that is seven books in seven days. And I'll do an actual, like, wrap up, quick wrap up tomorrow because now I'm going to bed because I'm tired. And I've been up since 5 a.m. And now it's Monday, the day after the Booktubeathon, and I finished it. I completed the Booktubeathon. Here are all seven books that I read, and I did all the challenges. Ender's Game is older than me, and it was a book to movie adaptation, and I did watch the movie. New Hunger was favorite author, or should the end of the lane was also favorite author. Time Machine was older than me. Stephen Thorny Way was a book I heard about through Booktube. Forbidden Blue was yellow, and Human Days and Seven Nights was also yellow, and I read seven books. So, that was really exciting. So, some reflective thoughts. So, the first thing is that I always feel like with readathons, I'm not good at connecting with the community because, like, I just, I have a full-time job and other things I do, and so I don't have the time to, like, participate in all the aspects. I mean, like, I read the books and, you know, that's the point. But the other point is to, like, connect with the community, and I do a terrible job at that. Like, I don't really comment other people's videos like I want to I tried to at the beginning of the week but I just didn't have time and the same thing with like the Instagram challenges and so I kind of I don't really know what to do about that I don't know if that's the way readathons are set up it's so it makes it difficult to do that or it's something that's a problem with me so I'm not really sure what to do with that whole aspect of readathons but also I've learned this week that when you do readathons, like yes, short books are good, but you also should read more books that are a little bit more light, because I found like Ender's Game was intense, New Hunger had like some really intense themes, Ocean at the End of Lane had a lot of like really big things to talk about and really big things to think about. The Time Machine, just like it's a classic and I wanted to absorb it, Stephen Thorny Way was really intense, and so I felt like most of these books, so that's like over half of my pile. But like I was so focused on just trying to get through the books, I wasn't really able to absorb everything that they were saying and what they wanted you to think about. And like I kind of would just like be like drained and being like, oh my gosh, this book was so intense and there's so many things my mind is reeling and I'm trying to absorb everything, but I don't have time to absorb it because I have to go on to the next book. And so like, even if a book is short, it can still be really intense, and, like, it might not take you a lot of time to read, but you might want to still take your time with it because you want to really get everything the book is telling you. And at least for me, I have a hard time doing that when I'm just going book, 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 book. And so I'll definitely have to keep that in mind the next time I do a readathon, so that way I can have a mix of books that might be a little bit more intense, but also books that are a little bit more light, and I can just kind of, like, breeze through and it's okay if I don't take the time to really absorb and think. But it was really fun. I'm proud of myself that I was able to get all the challenges done, at least with reading. <laughs> I totally failed at the video challenges. I'm off all the video challenges. Um, and I did get the Instagram challenges done too, so that was really fun. But now I could push myself more creatively with the Instagram challenges. So maybe next time I do something like this, that will be my goal, is to be more creative with the challenges along those lines. But it was fun. Now let me know what you guys all did and how you did with the book to I want to hear about your experiences and also did you have the same thoughts when it came to like the community and the challenges and the types of books that you read I would just really like to hear your thoughts on all that so yeah it was a good week overall though so I will see you all later thank you so much for watching bye